question number four, part A. Two dogs of black fur mated and produced an offspring with both black and brown fur. Given that N represents the gene for black fur, determining the uh, phenotypic ratio of the offspring. So uh, the genes are the ones that produces the trait. Uh, so we can, we can use our diagram here. We can use a table to demonstrate that. So you can draw a table like that. Uh, so this is uh, that. We divide that. Uh, so we have uh, that and that. So we can use this uh, to use uh, uh, the male and the female. Uh, so there we can use N uh, to represent uh, the non-active gene of brown because uh, the, 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 the offspring had uh, a black and brown. So N represents the brown. So and N represent the, the so you can say brown color genes and N will represent black as we are told. So we can say the male had uh, both uh, black and uh, brown genes, although the the the, the black gene uh, black color gene was a dominant. The female has the bra dominant uh, black gene color and in in uh, um, dominant brown color so if you they mate they can reproduce uh, a black dog uh, this will combine with this they can produce a uh, black with the uh, with the brown and then this one you can have a uh, black uh, with the brown and this you have uh, you have a uh, brown color so the, the the offspring will assume so you can see here we have uh, three dogs that have uh, have the black color and one that doesn't have it's completely brown. So you can say uh, pheno, that is phenotypic ratio. We say it is a uh, uh, three black uh, into one brown uh, so they have three offspring with dominant uh, uh, black color alternatively you can also use uh, this uh, you can circle like that these are genes uh, that is for the male uh, we also have uh, for the female uh, so we can have that so we can create sets and say this gene you combine with that and they, you may get uh, uh, black uh, with this would we combine with that we still end up with nm small n then this can combine with that uh, we have a n n and this uh, can combine with that uh, and we have n n so the ratio remains the same so you can either uh, use a uh, use this method or use this method, but the ratio remains three black and one brown. Uh, but B, the photographs below shows a hairy pinna in a human ear. So here, pinna is the outer uh, part of the ear, uh, as we are shown here. Uh, Roman number one, explain why this trait is only found in males. Uh, the reason why this trait is found in male it is because it is sex ringed i the gene that causes this is on is found in y chromosome and the the male is the one that uh, have uh, the male have y and x chromosomes and the female have xx uh, chromosomes so that's why it's only uh, found in males so you can say this uh, the trait is sex linked sex linked i.e. Uh, the gene responsible responsible uh, responsible for hairy pinna Uh, 
not uh, let's correct that here a pin is attached is found or attached to uh, y chromosome y chromosome uh, but it, number number two uh, we are told the name one of the traits that only appear in female uh, so one of the traits is premature bold or we can see boldness another one is uh, duchenne muscular dystrophy muscular uh, dystrophy uh, that is uh, this is what we call progressive uh, muscular weakness and uh, we have a uh, hairy uh, hairy nose so these are other traits that only appear in men if you mention any one of these two, three then you should be able to get uh, what that one mark